This is my throwing channel, so do it, Emma. Welcome if you're new here. Hello, and if you've just come returned from another vlog, thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, it's nice to have you here. So, this video or vlog is all about what I wore on vacation while I was in Rome, Italian, Italy. <laughs> um, yeah, so get yourself comfy and grab a beverage of your choice so yes um let's get started so this is the circle deer and doe i think i made this last year and i keep meaning to make another one i have got the fabric in mind what i want to use um you've probably seen that on a vlog at some point um but i've still got to make it it should be really straightforward because I don't think I really need to make any more adjustments although I might make an adjustment to make this bit higher slightly just ever so slightly because it is quite cleavage bearing sometimes um so yeah so I made it out of a viscose jersey and I think I got this from Pound for Fabrics um I think um Minerva have it as well but I know Pound for Fabrics it went really quite quickly so yeah I'm really quite happy with it Um, I think I might go back and use um, Marifret thread because I can see like it does pull down Um, if I haven't already I'm pretty sure I just used a polyester thread so I might go back and use a Marifret thread just to help it stabilize but i'm really happy with the fit overall um the sirocco jumpsuit is the deer and doe pattern and it goes up to a 60 inch hip i will pop little cards and where i can um of the sizing and a little illustration but and also i'll have a wee video of me modeling whilst i'm at the villa <laughs> so yeah so i'm quite happy with that and it's basically like secret pyjamas plus it's got pockets it's got lovely darts at the how's that got darts it's got darts yeah it's got pleats at the front and pleats at the back or pleats darts at the front and pleats at the back but yeah really really like it it's a lovely wear Now, I wore this on our last day. Um, these are in no particular order. I just thought I would show you them before I forget to show you them, you know. Um, anyway, so this is the Adrian blouse and this is by Freddie Patton Company. This goes from extra small to a 4X. I believe that's a bust measurement 4X. Um, is 57... 47 inches um so it's not the most size inclusive but i, I just fit in at the biggest size for the hips and the bust and i don't have any complaints about that but i just love this one in particular it's such a neutral and i made this out of i think it's either a cotton jersey um i believe so but my heart says these viscose jersey but I think it's a cotton jersey. But I've had this for ages and it's such a staple. And I got some white, <coughs> more cotton white jersey. It's definitely different. It's not as drapey as this. Um, I would say this is like white t-shirt jersey easily. The other one that I just bought is quite thicker. But yeah. Um. So yeah. I love the Adrian blouse and I wore it with my Sabina skirt and this is a free pattern to new sliter subscribers honestly Romana the little pomegranate does not bombard you with emails so I would highly recommend this signing up to a newsletter to get 
this skirt because it's totally worth it and it's got the ruffle this is a viscose twill got this from an irish shop she's online she does um sewing classes thread th thread stitch i'll put the top in this on the screen in front yeah a while ago so it's probably not in stock anymore so yeah most of the fabrics that i've got that i've made probably won't be in stock so i probably won't list them <laughs> but i will list the patterns next up is what i wore to the airport when we were going to Rome. so this is the anthea blouse this is um by anna allen okay it's not sizing close up but i have heard rumblings that she wants to make her patterns size inclusive um but i made this out of a swiss dot cotton you can actually see the dots and i really like this i wear this far more than um my dress that i made for never it's on the tight side at the moment <laughs> yeah there is there is a push for me to try and lose some weight just to get into that dress because it is a really nice dress otherwise i cut the bottom off and wear it as a shirt because it could be nice as a shirt blouse anyway so yes really happy with that and i wore it with my Hermes and pants and um, this is a linen viscose blend now this is definitely in stock it's at Lamazi fabrics and i'll list it in below honestly i've worn these so much and the wear that they're getting well, um i'm quite really happy with the fabric and i've ordered some in linen you'll see that in the next vlog when i drop it with some fabrics but um <laughs> but i love the emerson's because it's a flat front business at the front and a party at the back with the elasticated band yeah and they're wide legged really good really size inclusive and um, the curves range goes up to a 14 to 32 so you're in luck there so yeah happy 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 i think it's a 61 inch or 61 and a half inch hip um, the larger size goes up to so next up is Freddie Pack and Company Swarrow so set you've probably seen this a few times now but I decided to take it on to Rome because one I wanted quite nice photos and two it's definitely a summer staple this um, really felt comfortable I just wore it around the villa didn't really go out with it um, but it was really nice to wear. It was really nice and cool because um, it was tensor twill. This is a Merchant and Bell's tensor twill and it's in the colour Mulberry. Quite wintry, <laughs> but I still love it. Love the colour and I'm definitely going to make another sweater with it. I actually cut one out in cotton gingham and I really want to get that sewn up before the summer is gone. <laughs> definitely in Scotland. <laughs> I don't think I'll be getting away sort of this year again. Not anywhere hot and sunny and mosquito land based like Italy. Um yeah, so the sweater set I probably did the one X to the four X on the top and then from the four X to the five X on the bottom. I think it was yeah. But I've since just made the bottoms a wee bit bigger around the hip belly area because comfort. <laughs> and I've definitely lengthened the bodice and I've um, given the waistband on the trousers a bit more height as well. So it just gives me a wee bit more coverage around the belly. Sometimes you just want that coverage. Another Friday pattern company and this is the Donny shirt. This is my latest Donny shirt and I've got this beautiful model um, 
from Sewn on the Time, Tanlan put it on her tea stash and I snapped it up. So it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a lovely blue, sorry. The sun is deciding to shine, but I can't complain, <laughs> otherwise we'll have rain. But this beautiful modal, um, I just snapped it up and I decided to make a donning blouse and what did I make it in? I think I made a size 1x to the 4x on the hip and I lengthened this one as well as my last one, the strawberry one um, and really really like it plus I put a little label, put in Kylie, yay! Where is it? <laughs> yay! Kylie and Lucian and yeah, really comfortable. Sorry, these aren't ironed. Literally just hung them up and let them dry and um, then iron them. Iron is a go when I wear them. So I wore the Donny shirt with these um, and these are the Celine shorts and this is a pattern by Stay Stitch Patterns. Now they're actually collots but you can make them into um, shorts and the pattern goes from a double zero to 34. It's a 64 inch hip it goes up to so brilliant size range and they're super comfy with the paper bag waistband. Absolutely fab. Um, yeah really enjoyed wearing that yeah and it's got the cutest leather label from little rosy cheeks that i put on super happy although i think when i'm going to make another pair of celines i'm going to lengthen the um in between legs not quite sure what that means the, the inner the inner legs um, and just because they kind of scrunch up so I'm definitely thinking about lengthening the whole thing and hopefully that'll work because they are comfy to a point but I do scrunch up a wee bit but these are made in a linen I believe I got from Edinburgh Fabrics one of my local stores and it's really lasted quite well so I'll definitely buy buy more linen from Edinburgh Fabrics in the future. Um yeah and I love love the pockets on these um they're so deep my donny shirt's just falling on the floor um they're so deep there's three different pockets options on these as well so bang for your buck from that pattern shorts clothes three pocket back three pocket options what more do you want? So finally we have the fringe dress. Um this is a pattern by Chalk and Notch. It goes up to a 59 inch hip, but there's definitely ease in the skirt. And I love it. <laughs> I made this out of a Minerva exclusive viscose called Dancing Lights and it's got a very retro feel to it um, because I'm a Minerva maker, Minerva ambassador role I get the um, fabric gifted to me in return for our blog post on their website I'll put the link in below my blog post but I'm so pleased. Um, one of my favourite features is the sleeve buttons, the wee tab that holds the sleeve and also the waist tie and the scoop. You'll be able to see that in my video but yeah so so pleased. Um, it goes from a 0 to 30 um, size wise so all the sizes are included in one pattern so yeah really happy with that i'll definitely be making another one um i've already got a thought in my head um yeah
yes cannot wait to make one up um yeah so really happy with that okay that's me if you haven't already please do like this video and subscribe if you haven't already would love for you to join the just gang and have fun sewing with me or making stuff and talking about my made stuff and hopefully that will give you some inspiration if I do so so yeah I'll see you very shortly. Take care, Bobbin. Covers, gold string, gold bird.